Hi Gemini, this is your July mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads on this mid-month reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at love and it could be any type of love. Love from the past, existing love, uh, new love, whatever comes up. In the second spread we'll be looking at some good news for you, uh, Gemini, for the second half of July. And uh, the third spread will be an advice for you, Gemini, for the remainder of this month. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. So this first part is on love, Gemini. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Chariot. We have the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords. Uh, then we have the Six of Wands, clarified by Strength. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Swords and uh, the Two of Cups. And we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer Leo, perhaps another air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a bit of a complex reading, uh, Gemini, I gotta be honest with you, and I didn't notice one thing right away, so I was a little perplexed, I was a little puzzled, I still am, <laughs> but not as much as I was in the beginning. So here's what I noticed, right, we have the Chariot, clarifying the Ace of Cups, right, and then we have Strength, clarifying the Six of Wands, so the Chariot is a Cancer, Major Arcana card, Strength is a Leo, Major Arcana card. And what happens in the second half of July? Yes, we switch from uh, Cancer to Leo in the second half of July, right? So the Chariot is a Cancer card, uh, Strength is a Leo card. <laughs> so very symbolic. So during this switch, um, you could either decide that yes, you're gonna move forward with this person, okay? Or um, if you're dealing with two different people, by the time Leo season rolls around, you will know whom to move forward with, right? So again, if you're dealing with just one person, um, you may give this person like a trial period, <laughs> take them for a test drive, see what happens. Or if you're dealing with um, two people, uh, by the uh, by, the end of the Cancer birthday season, you will know which of the two people you want to move forward with, right? So that's how I see this. That's that's what I noticed with the Chariot and the Strength card. But uh, yeah, you do have a love offer coming your way, at least one for sure, right? Because we actually start with the Ace of Cups, the very first card that came out. It is a love offer. It's one of the two aces on the table. Right? The Ace of Cups is true, genuine, authentic love offer coming your way, so at least one person genuinely loves you. The Chariot, clarifying it, like I said, could be a Cancer you're dealing with. Um, the Chariot is also a card of uh, moving forward, it's a card of victory, success. But then we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Swords. I assume you're the Queen of Swords here, unless you're dealing with a fellow air sign, but I assume that's you. And the Two of Pentacles, this is either you being like, um, <laughs> let me think about it. You could be juggling two people. I'm not judging you. The Two of Pentacles could be a card of a juggler. So maybe you have a couple of uh, suitors on your radar. Or you're just not sure about uh, the person uh, who is coming towards you if you're dealing with just if you're dealing with just one person, right? You're gonna be like, okay, let me see what you can do for me. Maybe you're testing this person, all right? And then we have the Six of Wands clarified by Strength. The Six of Wands is a card of success and victory, similar to the Chariot, right? And it's clarified by Strength. Strength would be a Leo you're dealing with. But Strength is also a card of courage. Strength is a card of loyalty. Perhaps if you're dealing with one person, they're going to prove themselves to you. They're going to prove them, their loyalty to you or something like that. And um, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is this Ace belongs to you, right? You see how the Queen of Swords is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword we're looking at in the, in the Ace of Swords, right? So the Ace of Swords, this is you becoming crystal clear. Uh, the Ace of Swords is also the word yes, <laughs> right? So you're saying yes with that Ace of Swords. It's also kind of like a... Mm, a new beginning, and uh, I often refer to the Ace of Swords as the no BS Ace, right? No BS. And uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Swords and the Two of Cups. Yeah, Six of Swords is a card of moving in, moving forward. It's a card of maybe literally going somewhere together. Um, don't worry about the fact that the cards came out the way they did. Uh, don't worry about the sequence of the cards in the potential outcome. It's still good, right? The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a rock-solid commitment of marriage. It's a card of money in the bank. It's a card of um, 
you know, buying home, buying a home or renting a home together. And uh, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card, and as you can see, there are two people in the Two of Cups. So you're going to end up with somebody no matter what. <laughs> um, it's a soulmate card, it's a card of unconditional love. And it's a card of when two people are on the same page. So like I said, it's a bit of a complex reading, but uh, at the end, you will be together with somebody. All right, uh, Gemini, really happy for you. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, uh, Gemini, for the second half of July. We have the Three of Swords, clarified by the world. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Swords. And we have uh, the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. Very specific rating, Gemini. Um, it has something to do with a Virgo, right? You're dealing with a Virgo. It could be somebody from your past. It could be a new person. Um, I don't know, <laughs> but you're dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit on the bottom of the deck is a Virgo Major Arcana card. It's uh, one of the two Major Arcana cards on the table. And the Knight of Pentacles in the middle is an Earth Sign Indicator towards Virgo Capricorn. But from my experience, the Knight of Pentacles in a lot of cases is associated primarily with, the, with Virgo. And since we have Virgo here already, it must be a Virgo. So, the good news has something to do with the, this person. Um, and it could be directly or indirectly related to you. Perhaps you have a friend Virgo or a family member Virgo, and uh, maybe they are getting a job. Maybe they, got, they, maybe they recently got fired or they got laid off and they're going to get a new job. And they'll be sharing the good news with you. Okay, for others of you, if you too had some kind of a disagreement, or if the two of you broke up, or if the two of you got into some sort of a fight, right, then uh, this person will come back to you and offer you to re-establish this connection, no matter what the, uh, no, no matter what the nature of this connection is, and you're going to be happy. Um, or, this person could be offering you a job, <laughs> or offering you something solid, something long-term. All right, with that Knight of Pentacles. Whatever the Three of Swords represents in your case, the Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart, it's a card of a devastation, feeling stabbed in the back, you know, bad news. Um, it's going to become a thing of the past. It will no longer be relevant, but it did happen in the past, either between you two or uh, something happened to this Virgo in the past. Right, at the end we have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, it's a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. And uh, the Ace of Swords, clarifying it, um, um, the Ace of Swords could be like a very straightforward, very direct conversation the two of you may have, where they may tell you the truth, or may tell, they may be very straightforward with you and tell you you were right all along, or something like that. But I do see a, a positive resolution of this, right? Even with the Three of Swords being in the past and the Nine of Cups with the Ace of Swords being in the future, I see a positive resolution to this. Or I see you being satisfied with the outcome. All right, and that's the good news, Gemini. All right, cool. Here's an advice uh, for you, Gemini, for uh, the remainder of this month. We have the Queen of Cups clarified by the Page of Wands. Um, we have the Fool clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Sun <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. Um, you're dealing with a bunch of people here. You're dealing with a bunch of people. You're collaborating with a bunch of people. Or the advice has something to do with this collaboration. Okay, so let me let me elaborate. So we got this Queen of Cups, right, all the way to your left, clarified by the page of once. The Queen of Cups could be a, um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, and um, we also have the Queen of Pentacles, um, could be an Earth sign, towards Virgo, Capricorn. We also have the Fool, could be an Aries, the Sun, could be a Leo. All right, so you got at least two court cards, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. And uh, the, uh, the Fool in the middle is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, cooperation, um, in some shape or form. And it could be the three of you, or there could be more than three people. <laughs> Alright, so it could be an offer to start a book club together, it could be an offer to uh, all of you to j join the gym together, Jane, uh, join a yoga class together, join and do something together. Or throw a birthday party. It could be a birthday party for the Queen of Cups, because we're still wrapping up uh, Cancer birthday season, the Queen of Cups could be a Cancer. Or maybe 
uh, do something for um, a child who is a Leo, right? The sun on the bottom of the deck is a Leo major arcana card. And uh, the page of ones clarifying that Queen of Cups, it could be a child, a fire sign child. Leo is a fire sign. So maybe it's a, an existing child and you're just throwing a birthday party for this child. Maybe you have kids as well. You could, you could do like a, I don't know, a huge <laughs> birthday party for children. Or it could be a child that's about to be born during the Leo season. So maybe you're all getting together and helping this uh, Queen of Cups do like a, a, a baby shower or something like that. Alright, so that's how I see it. It's collaboration uh, between at least three people, but probably even more. Alright? Uh, and the advice for you, Gemini, I guess, is to uh, participate in this <laughs> or take a lead in this. All right, um, Gemini, so that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, uh, Gemini, have an amazing the rest of July.